Alright, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this ThinkPad X1 Carbon 3rd generation. So first what you want to do is get a PH1 or a J1 screwdriver and then undo all the screws. Sorry, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. On the bottom you'll notice this little hole here. That's a reset um, button. It basically does like a BIOS or CMOS reset. You just use like a little needle or a pin to push that. Alright, but uh, I don't need to do that, so yeah. Once you remove all the screws, you just get your fingernail or pry tool underneath of the cover and kind of pull on it. Sometimes the screws might still hold a little bit, so just um, if it's stuck, just try and unscrew it. The screws actually stay in this panel, um, and when you take it out, you lift it up at an angle like that. So make sure when you put it back, you put the bottom half first and then at an angle, and then you can push it down, okay? But yeah, the screws stay in place, so there's these um, little uh, clear rivets that hold it. Some of them are actually metal rivets. But um, yeah, anyways, that's how you get that open. So we'll set that aside. All right. So now what we got here, so we got the, let me use the screwdriver for this. So you got the speaker here. The cable runs along. Okay. And then... I don't see where it comes back up. So, okay, there's this wire that goes underneath. It goes underneath the USB board here and it connects right here. It looks like that's the speaker cable. All right, let me actually take the battery out to show. Um, so usually as a rule, um, when you take the screws out, keep them in order. You don't wanna just throw them all into like a pile um, because the screws can be different size, different lengths and you don't want to um, end up putting the wrong screws in the wrong holes and you can end up damaging things, okay? All right, so we'll remove all the screws. So there, it looks like there's two up here, one in the center. Um, the center screw seems to be a lot shorter. And then there's another two down here. Okay, so just remove all those screws. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so now that we got all the screws out, you should be able to lift the battery. So I'll just find a spot where I can get my finger nail underneath and then I can pull it up. All right, so be careful when lifting stuff up, do it slowly. The battery is already a little loose it looks like, but to disconnect the battery, I use my fingernail on both the, um, t the wings that stick out and then you kind of just wiggle it um, just like this. Okay, keep wiggling and as you can see, it's coming out. Um, and then there's not much room, so you do have to pull the battery back. Um, but once you do that, you can pull this back while you're pulling the battery out, and it should come out just like that, okay? The battery model number, let's see, is there one? There's no specific model number. They use all these part numbers and stuff, so you can probably look up the Lenovo um, X1 Carbon or whatever model, but you can also look up, these should hopefully help, um, this ASM part number, which is SB10F46440, or the FRU part number 00HW002. Um, a lot of times you can find the parts that way. Um, looks like they don't have a regular model number here, so yeah. So hopefully those part numbers will help you. All right, then you got the USB board here which also has a, what is that, a mini display port it looks like. So you got that. These connectors, they just come out just by pulling it up. So I use my fingernails again underneath and you can see you can just pop it out like that. And then to put it back, you just line it back up and push it down. Make sure you have it lined up properly so you don't damage anything. Then you got this connector. I think it, it says FP, so that's probably fingerprint sensor. Oh, one thing, after you disconnect the battery, um, to be safe, you can hold the power button for about 15 seconds. This will drain any additional power from the laptop. So just press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds. Um, usually this is um, mostly important only if you are um, uh, disconnecting the LCD connector. Most of the other components are okay if you didn't um, remove the battery. But to be safe, um, you can do that. That way if you drop something metal here, you won't have any issues. Um, but anyways, there's a USB port here and the headphone jack here. Again, same connector like that. You can pop it up, but there's tape holding these wires in place. 
the wireless antennas, you just pull them up from the tail. Like I just use my fingernail and pry it up. It'll pop out. Um, if you're not sure how to do this, you can watch my other videos. I have a whole bunch of videos showing this. Almost every single laptop that has a wireless card um, with these kinds of antennas have that. Same thing, you have the screw, the um, SS or not the SSD, the um, uh, wireless card will pop up slightly at an angle and then you can wiggle this out. Um, the RAM is built into this board so you can't upgrade it. These chips uh, look like the RAM. Um, then you got this small connector here. Um, I think this is for the fingerprint sensor. It goes underneath and then goes out here. <clears throat> All right, then you got the fan, the fan connectors here. To disconnect that, you just pop up these little latches. You can pull the cable out and then put it back in and then push that back down. There's nothing connected to that, so I don't know what this connector is for. Um, then there's multiple connectors that go into the screen. So I'm thinking this larger one is the LCD connector. You got this connector is probably for like the webcam and microphones. Um, what else? You got this small connector here. I don't know where that's going to. There's this, oh, that's power, the power button, I believe. Um, so the power button's here and then it goes along and connects up here. Then you got this connector here for the trackpad. And you got this, uh, looks like a keyboard, keyboard connector. I don't see any other keyboard. Oh, actually, this is the keyboard connector. This might be, um, like keyboard backlight or... Actually, it might be this little track point thingy, but the keyboard does have, does this have backlight? It doesn't, oh yeah, the keyboard has backlight. So that might actually be the keyboard backlight, and or it might be a combination, because I don't see a connector here. So it might be the track point. But anyways, the main thing I need to do with this is data recovery for someone, so um, I'm not gonna take the whole thing apart. I will take out the SSD. There's this one screw. All right, so my videos, I kind of want people to kind of learn, not just um, follow along with one video. So hopefully if you're not sure how to take apart um, some component that you'll watch at least one or two of my other videos and then you'll get the idea. Um, most of the videos I'll kind of like point out how to remove most of the stuff. But um, certain ones, depending on how it's built, I don't want to like pull everything out and then risk damaging stuff when the customer didn't ask me to do any of the other things all right um it also has another card here i think this is for like mobile broadband if you use like a sim card um let's see the charge port this one is actually soldered to the board so you if you need to replace it you actually need to know how to solder and remove this connector um what else i think that's pretty much it yeah so that's all there is to this. Um, the fan looks like if you need to take it out, you will have to remove the heat sink. They do put some tape that's kind of holding it in. Um, but uh, it looks like if you were to take this out, yeah, you probably have to take the whole heat sink out. Anyways, um, processor solder to the board. You can't um, upgrade that. Same thing like the RAM, can't upgrade that. So hopefully people are watching this and won't ask me if they can upgrade the RAM um, because I've been asked that on a lot of videos when you can't upgrade the RAM. But yeah, so hopefully this video was useful. Um, if, it was, if it helped you, please like and subscribe because that'll help other people find these videos. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <clears throat>